Well, hey, how you doing? Ben Broussard with Logo TV here with this week's Drilling Report. A very happy Veterans Day to all of our viewers and listeners who served or are serving our great nation. From Logo to you, thanks for your service. Email is ben at logo.la. Drop me a line, start a conversation right here. Also, if you're not getting this in your inbox, subscribe to the weekly Drilling Report by clicking right here. As always, let's start things off by checking on prices. Louisiana Light Sweet Crude rises for the first time in a few weeks to $97.68 a barrel. As for natural gas, Henry Hub NYMEX Futures' latest indicator for December 2013 has a positive bump this week, resting at $3.55 per MMBTU. EIA Henry Hub spot price is $3.38 per MMBTU. Alrighty then, getting started as always up in the Haynesville where things were a bit quiet this week in terms of changes. Seven permits pulled for the area, most in DeSoto and a few in Red River. Still 18 Haynesville rigs in DeSoto, seven in Red River, six in Caddo and two in Bossier. Total overall, 33 running shale projects. In other portions of North Louisiana, Bay Gas, Spud, and Concordia Parish this week. Northern Drillers, Southwestern, Indigo, and Wild Horse continue to drill in their respective parishes, keeping North Louisiana growing at 42 running rigs. Ah, the Tuscaloosa Marine Shale. Finally, I get to report some news for you fine folks. Goodrich Petroleum decided to make good on their St. Helena permit last week, spudding a TMS well in the North Chipola field and drilling to 1,300 feet. Couple that with a new TMS permit from Goodrich in the Little Silver Creek field of Tangipahoa Parish, and we've got some action, folks. Let's keep this up. Total rigs in the TMS, one. Now, moving a little further south, Zachary Exploration pulls up in their second Acadia Parish project and awaits completion. Calcasieu Parish, on the other hand, sports four running rigs. Duncan Oil, Elysium Jennings, Aspect Energy, and a Trepid Drilling. Of course, you've got the Goodrich TMS well in St. Helena, but next door in Tangipahoa Parish, we've got Sanchez Oil and Gas. They spud a new well this week in the Fluker Field. Moving over to St. Charles Parish, where x Operating pulls up in the Good Hope Field. Taking the cake this week was Iberville Parish, who by the looks of reports added three new rigs this week. A bit hazy as to who, but by the looks it's either TPIC, Indian, or Hayland Operating. Probably all three. I'll let you know next week. All in all, South Louisiana gains four rigs this week, back into the 20s at 21 rigs. A quick report on inland water drilling, where Lafouche Parish provides a one rig drop, leaving the inland water count down one to 17 running rigs. Now, as for Louisiana State offshore waters, North Star Offshore drops to one rig in Cameron Parish waters. Castex pulls up at the Eugene Island Block 18 location and awaits completion measures, but still holds three permits in that area. Louisiana State offshore waters drops two for the moment, holding at one rig. Finally, Outer Continental Shelf Federal drilling wins out. Up one for the week, Deepwater Gulf clocks in at 49 running deepwater rigs. As a whole, Louisiana ended out at 130 active projects for the week, up three rigs over last week and 21 rigs over last year at this time. Now, as for deep water permits, shallow water permits? Nothing. Back on land, much better week for permits this week. Operators snatched up 50 new drilling permits in 12 Louisiana parishes. No offshore permits this week, but Goodrich with the TMS permit in Tangipahoa, five for Exco in DeSoto's Caspiana Field, 21 permits split between Forza and QRM in LaSalle Parish. This week's permits went out in Bossier, Caddo, Cameron, Claiborne, DeSoto, Franklin, Iberville, LaSalle, Lincoln, Red River, Sabine, and Tangipahoa Parishes. Hey, you want more info? Be sure and check out the Office of Conservation's website. Also, thanks for listening to this report and sharing it up. Click this button right here to share it with the folks that you know. Also, remember, you can listen to this on the road, download the podcast in the iTunes, BlackBerry World, and Microsoft Zoom stores for Android phones. Don't forget to follow Logo for up-to-date news on the oil and gas industry in Louisiana. And until next time, this is Ben Broussard with Loga TV.